guys welcome back to my channel so it's been a little while since um, I've done a Photoshop um, video and I was working on some stuff today and figured I would just um, bring you guys along um, I am it's probably not gonna be a very long video at all I'm in the middle of putting um, inventory away and I am having some vision problems right now with my left eye which is my good eye so yeah, I just don't know, but we're going to have some fun. Um, I have started creating another um, digital paper collection. Sorry, my um, uh, label printer keeps going on and off. Um, but let me just show you what I've got so far. Um so this is what I'm working on right now, and I'm using this um, damask pattern, um, and I've also done some actual paper of that. Um, it's going to be listed in my Etsy store this evening. I love it. Um, I'm hoping to have it listed this evening, so let me rephrase that. Um, so one thing I wanted to do, and actually in doing the paper, I wanna show you how to do a grungy paper um, and to make it like really look old um, so let me just pull I'm just gonna pull this right here this is um, a, like an old invoice that, um, that I got from one of my um, monthly subscription things sorry I'm trying to move everything to where I can sit and you can see the inventory all over my desk so I do apologize so the only reason I'm pulling this in right now is I just really want to get that color. And so now I'm just going to delete it. And I am just going to create a new layer. And I'm going to color that layer with that um, color that we just done. And it looks a little too dark for me. So I'm just lightening it a little bit. Okay. Okay. Now I am going to go over here and I'm going to get me a darker color and then um, I have these grunge brushes installed and you can get these free. Um, there's a lot of um, things on, um, if you Google free Photoshop brushes or something like that, you can get a lot of them for free. Um, so I just want to basically just kind of go over um, with my brush and I'm going to use a couple of different brushes so that I don't end up with the exact same texture um, like this one is more smaller um, but I just I want to kind of um, you know just make it a little bit more sporadic that one was a little too big for me so let's just see I'm just you know going through and picking some out um, and that's all I'm doing. And then I may even do some of like the water stains. Um, and again, a lot of these are free. Um, some of these are, you know, I got with the subscriptions that I'm on, but I can tell you that a lot of them were free. Um, so I'm just, you know, kind of making it look a little old there putting some of these drips on it um, and I'm just using some of the different brushes just so that I vary the pattern some and that's all I'm doing and you're not gonna see a lot of this but you're gonna see enough that I want it grungy looking and this is the one I'm using right now was the small drip brushes um, let me see. I think I have a coffee. I have a paper stain. I don't remember what it looks like. Oh, it looks pretty good. It looks like a paper stain. <laughs> Maybe why they called it paper stain. Okay, so I think that's good. So the next thing I'm going to do is I am going to pull the um, damask pattern that I want to use and I am wanting to use this one. And I got this one off of, um, I have a lifetime subscription to it. It's PNG Tree. 
but it's not really a PNG, so I don't understand because it has a background. So I just need to get rid of that background. And I'm doing that by using the magic wand and I'm just gonna hit it. I'm gonna invert because I wanna keep the actual pattern. And then I'm just gonna um, hit the mask and then I'm gonna flatten it. And um, I hope I'm not going too fast for you guys, but you know, we've done this a few times. It's the same thing that we've done on a lot of the other videos. So I'm hoping that um, it's not too much for, you know, I'm not going too fast. So now the other thing I wanna do is I want to get um, a really vintage color. And so this is another one of my um, um, patterns that's about to be listed. So I love the vent, because this is a true vintage baseball book, and I love the, the blue and the red in it. So I'm just gonna pull that color red, and then I'm just gonna delete that photo. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now, I'm going to take this layer and I'm gonna load it as a selection. I'm gonna add a new layer, and then I'm gonna paint, and then hit the select. Now I'm going to hide the layer that was underneath, maybe. Well, I've got it hidden, I'm just moving it up. Okay, so right now I, I like it, but I want it to look like this is kind of worn. So let me show you how to do that. I'm going back over here and I'm picking my grunge brushes again. And let's see which one this one is. I'm just gonna pick, um, you know, it's gonna be the, kind of the same thing. I'm gonna get some different random brushes. Okay. Now, down here on my blend mode, on my brush setting, I'm gonna set it to clear. So now, as you see, when I'm doing this brush, it's actually clearing the colored off of that grungy paper underneath. And so I'm just gonna do that some, you know, no rhyme or reason whatsoever. And I'm gonna grab another grunge brush and I'm gonna do the same thing. And again, it's just, I'm just trying to vary the pattern some. And that's all I'm doing. And then, let's see, maybe a little bit more. Um, and then we will do the other thing. Okay, so let's just do this just a little bit more. Especially around the edges, because you know that's where it really gets warm. Um, let me see what this one is. This one's like specs, so we're, I'm good with that one. Okay, so as you see, my papers, you know, there's not as much color. So now, this is the next thing I wanna do. I wanna go back to the other grunge brushes. And let me pick one. That one's good. Now, instead of doing it on, um, actually, I'm going to go back and I'm going to select the bottom layer and see if I can get the color. That'll work because that'll get me to where I want to go. And I'm going to get that darker color. Now, I'm going to go back up here to the, um, the layer with the damask pattern, and then I'm going to hit a new layer. Now on my brush, I'm gonna set it to clear. Actually, I think I need to be, yeah, I need on the clear. No, it's not clear. That's not what I'm wanting. I'm sorry. I'm having one of them moments. I'm doing linear dodge. Okay. And I am going to reduce the opacity quite a bit down to like maybe 45. And I'm just kind of go around the edge just a little bit. And then I'm gonna pick another grunge brush. And this one's more dots. And so I'm gonna just do that some more. 
And, you know, I can do a little bit throughout. And then, I, you know, I'm going to pick another grunge brush. And this one I like. I don't Let me see if I can get it where you guys can see it. No, it's not. My opacity is too low for you to really, really see it. But it just, like, puts lines in it. And I love it. You might can see it right through there. So it just kind of makes it look a little worn and wrinkled. And so now you can see how grungy um, this paper looks. So let's see if we can maybe just add a couple things to it. Just, um, just so that you guys can get a little bit better idea. Uh, let's see what I have right here. Let's just put this in it. I can put that right there. Um, now what I can do with this, I can still use my grunge brush, but instead of it being the linear dodge, I'm gonna go back to clear. And then I'm just gonna kind of, um, actually let me go to a different brush because that's the one with the lines. Okay, that one's good. So I can kind of do the same thing where I'm just messing around with it, you know, and just kind of grunging it up. And that's all I'm really doing. And so let's pick another flower. Um see what this one will look like. Let's do that one and let's do the same thing. Let's grunge it up a little bit. And then let's see if we can get maybe a like some wording or something. I'm just looking to see what all I have here. Um, what about the bingo card? I don't know how that would look, but let's try it. And so we'll do the same thing and just see how it looks. Now I might like it underneath the flowers. That might look better, so let me do that. I think I like it better underneath the flowers. So I'm just grunging that up a little bit. I'm really going at it a little more like where the flowers are so that it'll... I like that. Hmm. Okay. See, I surprised myself. Let's just see if there's a couple more things that we can pull in that might look okay. Let's see, what about the Paris? Pull that over, and we might need to do that just a little bit on the Paris because it's so bold and black there. And I don't know, maybe let's see if there we got room or what something else might look like. We'll see. And then let's do the same thing on this one. Let's just grunge it up a little bit. And there we go, guys. I think I, I like it like that. Um, very simple. It's, um, and you can do this with, it doesn't have to be like this kind of pattern, but this is how you can grunge something up and make it look pretty vintage, pretty pretty quickly and easy. So that's it guys. I know it's a very short video, but again, my eye, I, it's, I'm having trouble seeing. Um, so I didn't want to, you know, have a too long of a video to where my eye is killing me, but I did want to do something for you guys so that you guys will have a video today and, um, hopefully I'll be back to normal by in the morning and I will bring you guys another video. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I appreciate it, and I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye, guys. Mm -hmm.